What's up everybody, and I just want to go ahead and say that one thing that I didn't like about One Piece episode 720 is that literally we have to see Zoro defeat Pika twice at the beginning. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say right now that I'm not opposed to seeing Zoro beat Pika like a recap, but whenever we get it twice in a row, it kind of just feels like it's literally there for time waster. Just put in there to take up as much time as possible. That's it. Now, other than that, I have no problem with this episode. This episode was actually fantastic. It was a joy to watch. You get to see a little bit of everything. And don't even get me started on seeing Mihawk train Zoro. That's the type of filler that we should be getting in December for this winter filler. Because I'm not looking forward to Foxy being any kind of damn filler at all. I mean, why should I be? It's it's Foxy. No one even liked him in the first place. But yeah, that's what we need to see. We need to see more of straight up Zoro and Mihawk's training as filler. Make that happen. We need that. Now, even with um, Mihawk going in and telling um, Zoro about do you break your swords? Because if you do, then, hey, you shouldn't be. If you learn how to actually put armament hockey on your swords, it would make them stronger, and it would make any sword become the black blade. So that's actually awesome to see. I want to see that. I want to see, you know, how Zoro, the eye. I want to see all that. That should be some filler that needs to be coming up pretty soon. Um, you get to see that even after uh, Zoro defeated Pika, like, after the king's punch with that debris and like it was going all over the city and then we get to see a little bit of badass of Fujitora. He's just like, I'll save all these people and use this gravity and all that and basically got everybody out the way and basically cleaned up after the pirates even though we thought that the other king was, with his king punch, was cleaning up everything. It wasn't so. So, other than that, we get to see um, Treble and he's talking about how Pika's went down, and we even get to see where Leo comes in with the princess, and it's just like, yo, we got her, um, so what do we do now? And then, you know, the princess is like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're hurt. Let me heal you. And it's like, nope, Kira's like, nope, nope, nope. There's a bunch of other people out there that need to be helped. Which I respect that because it's like he could have been healed and ready to fight again. But he's just like, no, save these people, which is admirable. Now, even with Dolphamingo, you get to see a little bit of him. You get to see a little bit of Try Guy. And he's just like looking down at him. You know, you don't see too much. But then it goes back to one of the um, actual parts that was wrapping up that actually looked amazing was Luffy and Bellamy. Uh, we get to see uh, Bellamy, how he's talking about how he actually does admire Luffy, and he actually admired the wrong person, and he's so happy that Luffy actually considers him a friend, which is kind of like, that's what you need. I know that, I understand that, and a lot of people love Bellamy, and they want to see him as a straw hat at some point in time, but I don't really see that happening. If it does, I mean, I I'd be cool with it, but if it does, and if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. But we get to see him, you know, basically uh, reminiscing on when he first met Luffy and how he was defeated. And we get to see his um, kind of like standstill progression while he's looking at Luffy's bounty, you know, go from 100, 100 million to um, 300 million and all that. And it's just crazy to see. And, you know, he's just so shocked where I guess this is where he started his admiration and I guess being a Luffy fanboy, as you can kind of say. But Luffy, the Bellamy, it's always going to end how it began. And it only took that one punch from Luffy. And after that, it was a wrap for Bellamy. Which it's kind of like I'm so happy that that's actually done and we don't get to see that anymore. But it's, it's like it's still that mento of just, you know, that's how it started and that's how it ended. And we get to see that Luffy is straight pissed, which is nice to see because he's just like, you know, Duffel Mingle's not just going at them physically. He's going at them just a mental state 
I mean, he's trying to break his mind, his will, his spirit down before he even gets to fight him. And even with um, Luffy being so mad, you know, we get to see Dolph Flamingo right at the end. And he's kind of just like, okay, so the beast is roaring now. So come on up here and see what you're going to get. You're going to get this work. And then he's just like, looks down. And he's like, and he, I get, he's like, I guess Straw had to be um, surprised to see, you know, your dead body. You just see Law just face down, puddle of blood, bullet holes all in him. I got to go ahead and say on this episode, I, I definitely got to go ahead and say I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this joint an eight. The only reason why it really didn't get a nine or even a ten is just because of that Zoro and Pika shit that we got two damn times in a row. That that was kind of like stupid like I said it's a time waster because everybody already knows that one piece beginning opening song that bitch is that bitch is long I mean like half the time I'm like skip oh 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 no okay skip oh no we gotta skip more okay and then it's just like then we get the little rehash thing so I mean that's like about five minutes already off the damn episode already but with that it was, it was probably bumped it up to a good like six minutes off and I'm just like come on bro come on so again that's a solid eight um we actually get to see a little bit of next week's episode and it's just like he's doing the same thing as to Corson that he did man it's, it's that damn Dolphamingo like it's just like damn you Dolph damn you Dolphy damn you like he's such a evil character that you just can't help but actually like him a little bit, even though you hate the motherfucker, it's just, you like him a little bit. Ugh. I can't wait to see that episode. Guys, comment in the comment section below and tell me what you thought of this week's episode and what you think of next week's episode coming up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're growing every day. Love to see new faces. Smack that like button. I'm out, guys. Peace.